Welcome back. This tutorial is about Google Slides and making it fancy part two. So I would have gone to slides.google.com, logged in with my WCPS username and password, and again it's going to give you a list of all of the presentations that you have created or that have been shared with you. I'm going to go back to our um, sample slideshow. Now, this tutorial is specifically going to focus on adding transitions and animations to your slides and to the different parts of your slides. Uh, for those of you that are familiar with Microsoft PowerPoint, um, this is something that lots of people typically do on their PowerPoint slides, so um, that, is, that possibility is here as well. Um, so there's a couple ways that you can do this. First is if you just go to Slide, um, you can go down to Change Transition and an animations bar will come up on the right hand side. You can also right click on the slide itself and click change transition there. Now you have a list here of different transitions that you can use for the slide itself. So let's say I wanted to um, have it slide in from the right. Just click there. Of course you can change your the pace, um, how quickly it comes in. And you can choose to apply it to all sides if you'd like. By clicking play, it's going to give you a preview of what this will look like. Okay, so as with all Google um, tools, uh, it automatically saves for you. So whenever I close, this slide is set to come in from the right. Now I can click on my second slide and do the same thing. Right click, change transition and I'm going to have this one slide in from the left. Again, I can um, play it to see what it's gonna look like. Um, and the other thing that I can do is um, specific parts of the slide I can have come in differently. So if I click on the picture here, um, it's going to show me um, my options here on the right. Let me make sure. So if I click animate, yeah. Um, so and it tells you like how it's coming in. So right now I have um, this one. Let's see. Maybe I'm going to have it fly in from the top, and I'm going to have it do it on the click after the previous or with the previous. So I could have it come in with the slide from the left, or I could have it automatically come in afterwards or on the click. So now if I play it, it's going to show my slide coming in, and then whenever I click my um, animations will come in. So this one actually over here is listed as a fade in on click as well. So um, let's change that to zoom in and just see what that would be like. So again the preview slides in from the left on the first click this one comes in and then on the second one this one. Now if I wanted to um, have them go in a different order. So let's say I wanted this one to come in second. I just click on it over here and change it in the list. Um, I believe I can also um, do that with the text box. So if I um, animate the text box, here it is, and I can have it do any of the options that are available here as well. That's a little bit about the transitions or animations as they call them. Um, up next, I'm going to give you some helpful teacher tools that are available in Google Slides that will help you um, manage your students and help them be productive when they're making Google Slide presentations.